Welcome back to Falling Fox Gaming, everybody. I'm your host, Blaine, and we're picking up with some more how to play teardown on the marina level. Now, today, the mission is going to be the GPS devices, and we're only going to do one mission because there's a lot more setup than the other levels. So this level has three primary targets, the log files in the office, the GPS on the boat trailer, and the GPS on the fishing boat, along with two secondary targets the GPS on the boat over here and the GPS on the boat in the boathouse. So today we are actually going to be doing a big setup where it actually starts up here and works our way down to the boat here and then over here where we'll collect all the three GPS's that are left right in this area before making our escape. So I'm going to show you the first section which is just destroying some walls over here and moving this blue car on the map right here over to this spot here. So I'll see you guys when I get over there. Now that we're over at the office building over here, what we're gonna do is destroy this door. It doesn't really actually matter if we destroy this door. You guys just know how I feel about doors. We're gonna head up the stairs and go to the back office over here because that is where the GPS or the log files are. Then right in back here, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna destroy this door and this wall a little bit. That's plenty good and you'll see why. So this is our first target, which is just this little computer right here. From there, what we're going to actually do is we're going to jump out this window. So you want to destroy this window. And I do recommend you give yourself a little bit of breathing room, just in case. Because what you're going to do is you're going to jump down, and you're actually going to jump in this blue car over here. Now the blue car is actually going to have facing just like so. So the reason why we're setting this car up here is we're going to jump out the window to the blue car. We're actually going to back up just a little bit so you can jump right from the window to the car. Now after that, what we're going to do is we're going to head on over around this corner to the second set of buildings. Now over at these buildings we don't actually have to do anything, but our second target is over here. And that's this boat right here with the device on it right there. So we actually have to collect that device when we go to steal this boat. But the reason we came over here is we're actually going to take this car. This is going to be one of our other getaway vehicles. Well, I shouldn't say getaway vehicles. One of our vehicles that we use to set up one of the other runs. Now, this vehicle doesn't have to be used, but I prefer it because it is a little bit faster than, say, the yellow van. And what we're going to do is we're actually just going to set it right here. For now. We'll move this in a little bit, but for now, this is a good spot for it. Now coming back over here, we're actually going to take this van. We're actually going to use it to get on top of this big boat here. Now in the last mission, we actually used this boat in the exact same manner that we're going to do today, where we actually get on it. Oh no, that's too much. That might be too much. Uh, yep. Okay, well actually this will work. What we can do, so if you end up in a situation like this where you destroyed part of your van, you can actually just use the gun, the shotgun. Give yourself a nice little pathway up there and then what you want to do is you need to free this boat it's actually held on by these stupid chains here you just need to free yourself from the chain good shotgun blast should do there's normally two of them right here one there one there and then there's a third one on this side holding you on once you've shot all three of those off you're free to move this boat which has one of the devices on it right here the GPS devices so now that we've cleared that we're gonna take this boat and we're gonna go ahead and move it around. So what you do is you just back up the boat just like so and crush into here just a little bit, just enough where you can get on and off the boat without there being too much trouble. Like so. Now I'm actually gonna destroy the rest of the back because I do know that when we get to the part where we have to use this area, we need to be quick. So we don't want to have anything hanging up in our way. So it's going to be a quick jump onto here. Now back over here, we need to get rid of this gate. So the easiest way that you can actually do that is, once again, just taking the forklift and destroying the gate, as I will do now. We can actually just leave the forklift here because that's not going to be in our way, most likely. So the next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to come right over here, just right around the corner, and grab this little truck thing here. 
As you can see, I'm on the far side of the map with the barn over here. And I've actually driven the Jeep around the vehicle we're going to be taking right here. We're actually going to do the same thing with this forklift. We're going to move it out of the way. Now, where you move it to doesn't really matter. It just has to be actually out of the way for the drive. So I'm just going to crash through this stuff here. Because it doesn't actually matter, like I said. It just needs to be out of the way. And we're going to take this truck and we're actually going to get out of here. Now, if you're not very good at driving boats or driving trucks with trailers, this might be a little difficult for you. And there's really not too much I could tell you to help you with. You just need to basically get the boat on this trailer over here. I'm going to show you the full drive just because I want you to see exactly where I'm going to line this boat up because it does make a difference. So what you want to do is you want to turn around one more time. Because if you don't, what you end up doing is you end up creating an area for yourself that you get stuck. So just like this, that should work just fine. So we actually need to grab this right here. So that's going to be what we're aiming for. And finally is the last one right inside here. So what I like to do is shear off part of the boat so that way it's nice and easy to grab like that. Not required, but makes it easier. So as you can see, we actually already have everything fully set up. We have it to where we're going to start up here, grab this one, jump in the car, drive down and around over here, then we're going to come in over here, jump out of the car, jump on the boat, grab the device, drive the boat over here, and crash. Now we're going to get out of the boat as it's crashing so we can jump over the wall, and then we're going to run right here, grab this device, and what we're actually going to do is grab this car to get ourselves over here a little bit quicker. So we actually do have to set that car up a little bit better than where we put it. I just dropped it here so that it wasn't in the way for the boat. So the final thing you need to do for your setup is to move the car basically right here. Now I'm going to quick save here just for a second just to kind of show you guys you should actually probably quick save in between each one of these steps just to make sure you actually have everything set up properly and in case something goes wrong in the process of you setting it up. Alright, so here we are back at the computer in our starting location for our route. I just dropped a quick save and we're going to start the route so you guys can see me do it. Now, if you don't get this on the very first try, it's not because the route didn't work. It's just sometimes very little things that may seem insignificant may actually slow you down. So what I recommend is with this setup if you don't get it in the very first try just try it one or two more times and you should get it because like I said I've done this route several times and I beat it every single time with it except for once where I fell into the water which is my own fault. So here we go. Grab the computer, run out, drop down to the car, go go go. Now one thing you could do is you could actually instead of like setting up the car back there you could just leave it where it was and just get into it from there because it's actually set up in a pretty good spot just to go so go oh that might be a problem <laughs> uh, let's hope it's not i ah, know it's not hit the boat a little bit but not too bad so as you can see we're just going to drive into right here as the boat's crashing we're actually going to get off jump 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 Come on over here, grab the device, get in the car, come right here, grab the device, grab the device, and that is it. Now as you can see we have all the devices, all the objectives completed, and we made our way out. And that is mission success. Well there you go. GPS device is completed with all five objectives, and it's not really all that hard. If this video was helpful for you, please leave a like and subscribe, and comment down below if you have any advice of your own for this mission. It's been Falling Fox Gaming, I'm your host Blaine, I'll see you next time.